Hello! Today I'm going to be trying a very new type of video. It's a video with an actual script. A video I've never tried before. You might see this surprising since this is a channel about a dumbass teenager making memes off his Android. But I always like to experiment with new content. My inspiration for this is Pyrocynical and That Boy Aqua. But specifically, Today, I'm going to be covering Uncharted 4's multiplayer, and now I think it's a really good built off a single player game. First off are the trials in the game. They're like your typical tutorial, but they teach you about every specific type of gear, mystical, and sidekick in the game. x part is pretty hefty, and it's what basically carries Uncharted 4's multiplayer. It's the loadout system. They are very interesting because of how you make your loadout. First off, you can't simply have every equipment in the game. To balance this out, the loadouts have a set number of loadout points. First, let me describe how it works. Let's say I want an M4. It would take five loadout po points. And I'll take a pistol that has two points. I could either get a grenade or a perk that will help me in the match. But if, but if I had too much, I would be able to use the attachments or upgraded grenades, upgraded perks, or any upgraded sidekicks. That's what I like about this system, and make sure you're not simply a god for simply having everything unlocked. And it won't be overpowered or too underpowered, it's balancing everything out. And there is also some cool one-time boosters that can help you in the match. There are also daily challenges that help you get relics, which helps you unlock cosmetics, guns, all of that. The next part is pretty hefty as well, it's what makes Uncharted 4's multiplayer's personality be extremely well. It's the customization system. I love this system. You could get any character from any of the four games and drip them the hell out. You could get the most goofiest items or the most nice looking items on there. There's preset outfits which cannot be customized but they have exclusive things you can't do in regular customization. You can also get taunts in the game and man they're just Perfect. Seeing Nathan Drake do the workout will never get old. Could also put on hats, glasses. There's, there was also at the time, at the time, keyword, ranked items, and there would be these really cool ranked-looking items, and they just, they just look hella dope. I just kind of wish I was able to, you know, play the game when it still had the rank system. Now here comes the only downside to Uncharted 4's multiplayer, it's how you unlock DLC items and customization. It's through the Relic Store. It's through a randomized chest you have to buy with relics or Uncharted coins if you're privileged, like me because it was during a sale and I got hella Uncharted points. I just don't like that before you had to grind so much just so you could get a gun you might not not even want it in the first place. It's really bad. And if you want a very specific item, you need to divide it with Uncharted points. And all those bundles right there are because of a huge Uncharted coin sale. And I just took that opportunity because I love the multiplayer so much. And as you can see right here, all of these are like... They are extremely randomized inside the chests, and none of my friends really liked that, and I didn't like that either because we couldn't really play together like that. Because simply put it, they can't have the same experience that other people get. All of these game modes are basically your varied and changed COD game modes. I'm not saying they're bad, it's just that they're just similar but tweaked in a different type of way like in plunder it's like clap capture the flag but you have but you can't do any parkour and you can only use your pistol for an example now here's some gameplay from uncharted 4 it's gonna be a quick compilation but i'm hoping you did enjoy this video it, it was quite hard to make because it's my first time and i may have only talked for like five minutes but it's extremely new for me because i did not never did anything like this but i hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching the video
Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. 